Pastor Robert Turner here of New Birth Ministries. Today is our two minute drill. Let's close our week out and let's listen to the voice of the Spirit. Let's see what he has to say to his children. Let's go. day only have two minutes so let's go to psalms the 24th chapter and i really want to read verse one and it says the earth is the lord's and everything in it the world and all who live in it it is god's responsibility to provide and to take care of his children there's something that interesting happened when i was uh, on my early morning run uh check this video out this video you see a squirrel and a bird in the same vicinity, both searching for food. Now the earth is the Lord's and everything in it, which is the squirrel and the bird, both belongs to God. But here's the difference. The squirrel never paid attention to the bird. The squirrel was not preoccupied at what the bird was doing. And neither was the bird looking at the squirrel. The bird didn't even focus on whatever it was that the squirrel was doing. Now here was a bird and a squirrel both in the same vicinity, both looking for the same thing, which is food. But the reason why neither one of them was worried about the other one is because they had two different appetites. Please catch what I'm telling you. Because of their appetite was different, they didn't worry about what the other one was doing. They knew that God had the food, the nourishment, based on whatever appetite that they had. And I'm telling you, just like birds and squirrels and everything on the earth, even us who have dominion over them, God says that if you learn what your appetite, which is your purpose, I wouldn't have to be focusing on what someone else is doing. I wouldn't have to be jealous, envious, or, or in competition with someone else because my appetite is not what your appetite is. I'm not after what you are after. I'm after what God has for me. So I want to tell you today, find your purpose. Your purpose is your appetite and let God supply all your needs according to his riches and his glory. That's my time.